Now, yesterday there was a whole hubbub about Michelle Obama being uh, mad that the uh, Danish Prime Minister, who happens to be an attractive female, uh, was taking selfies with the president, smiling, laughing, flirting. Uh, and there were some pictures taken, there were. And in those pictures, it appeared that Michelle Obama was a little aggrieved. And in fact, there was a second criticism as well. They said, oh, look at the president smiling, laughing. How dare he? This is a memorial service. Now, uh, the person who took the pictures is Roberto Schmidt. He's a photojournalist. First of all, on the issue of uh, people celebrating, he said, look, quote, all around me in the stadium, South Africans were dancing, singing, laughing to honor their departed leader. The atmosphere was totally relaxed. I didn't see anything shocking in my viewfinder, president of the U.S. or not. So in other words, this was a bit of a festive event. Now, they're of course not happy that Nelson Mandela passed away. He was 95. What they were doing is they were celebrating his life. We've talked about this a lot on the Young Turks. I think the Irish have the best funeral uh, processions and, and, and the way that they conduct the funerals is awesome. They have fun, they have a party, etc. And Nelson Mandela's life should be celebrated. Now, uh, the question is, was the First Lady celebrating or not celebrating uh, the interaction the President had with the Danish Prime Minister? You're now first, <laughs> how you doing, yeah? Holler at me, man. Let me know what's going on. Okay, and then she, and then the uh, first lady appears to be incredibly skeptical in all of those pictures. And then yesterday there was a bit of a debate on this last picture here. Had they switched seats? And it turns out yes. In fact, they had switched seats. Uh, Michelle Obama then got in between her president, or and her husband, <laughs> and the Danish prime minister. So he wouldn't be having any more of that Danish. Okay. <laughs> Some online have noticed that sometimes I make corny jokes. Woo! You don't say. Well, now we go uh, to a prediction I made yesterday, or uh, more of a statement rather than anything else, uh, about pictures overall, especially in regards to this fake scandal. Let's go to that video. <laughs> Is this a real scandal? Absolutely not. Of course not. Of course not. First of all, let me tell you something. I love Ben Mangu's quote on this. He says, uh, pictures don't tell a thousand words, they lie. They're liars. <laughs> All this is nonsense. You can't tell any of that from a simple picture. Now, let's go to the guy who actually took the pictures, uh, Roberto Schmidt. He says, I later read on social media that Michelle Obama seemed to be rather peeved on seeing the Danish Prime Minister take the picture. But photos can lie. Now, that's the guy who took the picture, saying exactly what we said on the show yesterday. He went on to state, in reality, just a few seconds earlier, the First Lady was herself joking with those around her, Cameron and Schmidt included. Her stern look was captured by chance. Now, that's true. But one final note on this. The, apparently, the First Lady switched seats with the President because she wanted a better view. Well, all of a sudden, now you got me thinking about it again. Because that seems kind of like a flimsy excuse. <laughs> well, let me let me just let me break up this. What's going on here? And uh, switch seats a little bit and see what happens. Some chance that Michelle Obama was both, you know, in a good mood and not overly upset by this. The president wasn't going to hook up with the Danish prime minister during the memorial service, but also a little like, hey, you know, maybe that was that was enough laughing. Maybe there's uh, at least from my perspective something rotten in Denmark. Yes, I'm going to that joke again. <laughs> Come on, who doesn't have fun on this show?